I've been searching high and low for a course plugin that did everything that I wanted it to do. There is no perfect course software or platform, but Access Ally might be as close to perfect as we're ever gonna get. In this video, I'm gonna review Access Ally from the perspective of a funnel builder, as well as someone who builds marketing funnels and course funnels for their customers, and whether it's right for you and for your course-based businesses. I wanna talk about its course and membership functionality, as well as the brilliant marketing funnel tools and features that it has within it, as well as kind of how to use them and how I'm using them. I wanna also talk about should you use Access Ally for your customers and for your customers' funnels, and if you yourself have a course. Hey guys, Mike here from Sell Your Service. Down below, I've got my link through to Access Ally. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. I absolutely love Access Ally. I'm a big fan of uh, Natalie Lucier and what she's doing. So you can find a link to Access Ally down below. Um, welcome, if you're a funnel builder and this is your first time watching, go ahead and click subscribe because I help funnel builders like you go ahead and attract, find and close a five figure funnels. But in the meantime, let's talk about Access Ally. The problem, the big problem that I faced is that when I was building out my online course for Sell Your Service, which is the funnel business game plan, as well as the marketing automation funnel certification, and a bunch of other courses and our coaching, I was constantly thinking, which course platform do we use? And I think a lot of the time we have two options. We basically have third-party platforms, which are Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi, but we also have, like, can we use it on our own website, on WordPress? Our business, I thought it, I thought it was quite simple, but kind of delving into it, it's quite complicated. We have a course and we sell multiple courses, like kind of smaller courses, and we have a lot of digital products which we use as splinter products, as well as a weekly coaching call where I wanna upload you know, the coaching call replay. First of all, what platform I should use, but also how to fix or solve each one of the problems. It became a bit of a higher thought process to be able to think through all of the processes that we wanted to go through and then finding a piece of software that helped us do that. There's a big misconception that membership and LMS and course funnel plugins and funnel plugins, they're all the same or they all do the same thing and it's just not true. The difference between an LMS plugin and a membership plugin, which I'll go into in a little bit, is vast. Access Ally does have membership capabilities and funnel capabilities and course capabilities and LMS capabilities. I wouldn't say its strongest suit is the LMS. The course creation wizard is outstanding, but the funnel building side for courses is second to none. I've never seen anything like it. So before we do the review, I wanna talk a little bit about what it was that I was looking for, and maybe that might help you decide on what kind of platform you use. The biggest thing for me was the ability to sell multiple levels of coaching products and platforms to different customers. Let's say we have three different customers, or I have three different customers. One just buys a flagship course, and then that's it, and they don't buy anything else. One buys a splinter product and then upsells to the course and then upsells to the coaching and one person buys the coaching and occasionally buys other products. A lot of membership products and membership platforms won't allow you to have multiple payment and multiple membership levels per customer. For whatever reason, it's obviously very complex and this is not me having a go at other systems and platforms, but that was the big thing I wanted to do was to be able to upsell very quickly and easily multiple coaching methods. So first of all, there had to be an easy upsell method, ideally a one-click upsell, meaning it would store people's credit card information and say, hey, if you wanna buy this, just click this button and we'll add it to your bill. And on the other side, be able to move people through and say, well, if you've bought this product, then you might like this one as well and try to sell that to them as well. I use Active Campaign as my CRM and it's a massive part of our business infrastructure. If I had to get rid of either my website or my CRM, I'd get rid of my website because the CRM holds all of our data. It holds my customer relationship information. And I wanted it to have a very deep integration with my membership and my course platform because I wanna be able to send specific emails and specific follow-ups to my customers from within my CRM and see that data. I wanna be able to see customers within my CRM and see how much they've spent with me, how long they've been with me, how much I should give them, how much they're giving me. I wanted a better integration between the CRM, in my case, Active Campaign, and the membership system. I was also looking for a flexible course designer. And what I mean by that is, 
the ability to come to a new course and think, I want to present it in this method. We have a pretty standard like, you know, you have the course and then the course is made up of modules and each module is made up of topics. Sometimes I'll have just one hour's worth of lecture per module. Sometimes it'll be like, you know, 10, 10 minute videos. I wanted to be able to mix and match it however I saw fit and then be able to either clone that and make it an exact carbon copy for the next course or if I had a completely different idea for a digital product, be able to do that. So a very flexible course builder is what was something I was looking for. Frankly, better page management. I was always really confused with a lot of LMSs like where all my courses were and like what pages were what courses. So I, I had like in the taxonomy and the URL and the slug and in the slug saying things like, you know, course name, topic name, module name one, course name, topic name, module name two. And it was kind of looked a bit messy and I wanted an easier way to be able to kind of visualize that process as well as build it out in the first place. So that's ultimately what I was looking for. And so let's kind of get into the, the you know, core behind what it is that uh, Access Ally offers. Access Ally positions itself as a course building plugin. And it is, and it's got some incredible course building features. For one, it has what it calls its course wizard. Now this was mind boggling to me when I first went into it. I basically, you go through the menu and I'll bring it up on screen now. And you walk through and you say, well, I wanna call the course this and each lesson is gonna be this and each topic is gonna be this. Now, from a, from a perspective of hierarchy, Access Ally says you can have as many hierarchies as you want. Some people will have just the course and then they'll just have, you know, accordions for each lesson. If it's a six hour course and you've just got six one hour videos, there's no point having an individual page for each one. You could just have one video per accordion on the page and just protect that page. Me, on the other hand, I wanted an individual page per topic with a download, with a next link, with a few other bits and pieces. Like I've got an example on screen here now. And talking the student through that process, I wanted them to show and see a sense of progression. I also wanted more granular control over pages and posts because we upload the coaching call replays as blog posts. So I wanted to be able to say, well, if you are a member of the course and the coaching, you get access to everything, obviously, you'll be able to see it. So I wanted more control over the page design as well as what people could see, such as like progression, tick here to mark as complete, or if they mark it as complete, they see the percentage of the bar move. What's interesting is that it requires pages to be built, but it actually is so open and free. It can be a little overwhelming. I'll be honest, it was a little overwhelming at first to think, well, I have to design the course page. Other LMS and course builders that I'd use, there wasn't really a huge amount of like leeway with the templates. They kind of said, well, this is how a page will look and each page will be a topic and these pages will be, you know, per lesson and this page will be for the course. You have to go in and design that yourself. So the hierarchy that I used was one page is the course, then with, you know, all the different lessons and each lesson had its own page with the different topics and each topic was the video and the content itself. But some of our kind of courses didn't really require that. So I had to think a little bit about how we would do that, but it gives you the control over every single aspect of it. At first it's very overwhelming. The course wizard, however, is so intuitive. It takes you through that process. And it, when you understand how it works, it becomes very quick to use like anything, I guess, but it also creates all the tags for your CRM system. Access Ally is at its most powerful when you have a CRM system attached to it, like Infusionsoft, like ActiveCampaign. In fact, the way that I found it was on an ActiveCampaign call, talking through all these processes, and I absolutely fell in love with what Natalie was talking us through. Each page then has like permission lockdowns based on tags inside of the CRM. So it creates a user on WordPress and syncs the user profile in WordPress with the user profile or the contact profile, in my case, with Active Campaign. If a tag is added in Active Campaign, eventually it gets pushed over to the user profile. There's ways to speed that up with like webhooks and pings and stuff like this, which work really, really well. Again, Access Ally takes you through all of that. What it allows you to do is sell things via any other medium. As long as it's tagged in your CRM system, Access Ally will say, great, we'll give people access to this. Again, there's ways of speeding up the process of building a page. At first, it looks like you have to go through every single page and say, well, I want to 
protect it with this tag and people have to have this tag to view it. But what you can do is you can create a page and then clone that page inside the course, rename it, and it will have all of the, you know, the requirements and the access requirements inside it. There's also progression and tasks, which I touched on briefly there, which are absolutely fantastic, which allow you to say, okay, well, if someone has completed this topic, then mark it off and you can show a percentage. And if they've completed a less, if they completed every topic, that means they've completed the lesson. If they've completed the lesson, allow them to move on to the next one. You can do it however you want. This is what I mean by Access Ally really is so granular that you need to have a real think about the progress because although it hand, holds your hand through the creation of the course, it's not going to hold your hand over the strategy of the course. Having said that, Natalie does have a lot of content, and we'll touch on that in a bit, about how to build courses. So follow her instructions, or you know, if, if people want to see how I did it, I've got a load of other videos down below which talk through how I created my course. The strategy was most important, and then understanding how Access Ally could help us execute that strategy. That's what, in my opinion, what made it so powerful as a course builder. So the membership features were kind of insane. And to be honest, the reason I bought Access Ally was predominantly because of the membership features. The big restriction that I used to have was if someone had bought one particular product and then bought another product, it would, in my old one that I was using, it would say, well, their new membership is the new product as opposed to saying, well, no, I want them to be tagged for both of them. It just didn't allow that. Because we were tagging within the CRM, it meant that anytime people made a purchase or refunded or made another purchase, we could add and remove tags freely so people could have multiple membership levels. You could also unlock content with the CRM system. We've got a few little automations we're playing around with when people are logged in for a certain amount of time, then they unlock a course and we have progression and achievements kind of like that, as like gamification a little bit, and we're, we're working more on on that and another really good thing was multiple payment methods a lot of membership plugins will say you can only have one payment method per you know level or even per like entire website access ally says no you can have multiple payment levels you can have multiple payment types you can have payment plans you can have subscriptions you can have deposits you can break it down however you want with stripe and paypal now paypal has some restrictions to do with you can only have one recurring payment profile per paypal profile it's got nothing to do with access ally but stripe for example allows people to have a coaching platform and pay for things via a payment plan as well as buy the occasional product that comes up massively massively useful it also allows us to bulk edit users because we use the crm so i can say you know what everyone gets access to this or occasionally when things go wrong restrict access to this no one needs it anymore Something that was undersold in my opinion and I'm trying to promote about Access Ally is its sales and funnel features. We all like the idea of doing upsells and downsells, order bumps, one click upsells, one click orders, multiple products, multiple offers. Access Ally has this amazingly intuitive product ordering system, which means you don't need to have WooCommerce or another payment platform. Access Ally takes care of all of that. Let's say that you've got a course, like it's a $1,500 course, and you want to include a couple of bonuses that are worth 100 bucks each. You can create an order form for the course, an order form, and I mean like crazy quickly, for the $100 product and for the second $100 product, and then you can create an offer which says this price here for 997 includes all three, and you literally just select them, and you say, well, you get taken through to this page at the end, you get taken through to uh, you know this confirmation area, you can tag people depending on what they buy. It's so, so easy to set up multiple funnels within your courses, and if you're doing this for customers, the order bump sequence is so simple it creates a product and then just says do you want this as an order bump on this order form yes please it takes a little bit of getting used to again because it's so granular because you have so much control it can be a little overwhelming but my advice is stick with it plug through that and use the documentation which i'll talk about in a bit and go through that and see just how powerful all of these individual products are it's never been easier for me to create a course product now because we'll take our coaching calls, split them up, and I'll just throw them into a course, and all of a sudden, bam, I've got myself another product that I can sell. Treat it as an upsell, a downsell, a one-click upsell as well, which is really powerful. Going through that process, the sales and the funnel capability of Access Ally, in my opinion, mean it's worth buying just for that if you're selling digital downloads, and you could probably kind of 
hack it together to sell physical downloads and physical products as well. So finally, the integrations and the compatibility. Basically, first of all, Access Ally built all the tags for me, which was insane. I was super happy with that. It just builds the tags. And at the end, when you finish a course, it just says, follow these steps and we'll build out all of your automations with you. Massively, massively helpful documentation. I can't believe just how clear and user-friendly it is inside the plugin and inside the course itself. It works with absolutely everything. Go ahead and check out the site. It will tell you if it works with your CRM system. Chances are it does. Like the list was insane when we were going through it. I already used Active Campaign and it was on an Active Campaign call that I discovered Access Ally, but it does integrate with pretty much everything. And all of the documentation has specific documentation for you know, Infusionsoft, Convert, Kit, Entreport, Active Campaign. It's all very, very specified. I use Beaver Builder. So I have the Beaver Builder theme as my theme for the course, and I use Beaver Builder for a page builder. That means that all of the pages and the posts are built in Beaver Builder. I've got a Beaver Thema plugin running to be able to create for the posts and the uh, coaching call replays as well as some of the course materials. I like Beaver Builder as a page builder. I can really quickly create templates and frameworks and all these kinds of things and clone them across pages. And because Access Ally doesn't require certain pages or certain types of pages or have a custom post type inside WordPress, what it means is that you can create your course using posts, using pages, whatever you want, mix and match them however you need to. And it just says, okay, well, if you you want to protect all of these pages just they have to have this tag great and if they don't have this tag redirect them to a sales page or redirect them to a login page or whatever it's so simple to use and it's so powerful that when you begin to understand just what access ally allows you to do it's kind of insane that people aren't using it for everything to be honest finally the documentation on the access ally kind of their side is unbelievably good every single step and problem that i've had chances are I've been able to solve it just by taking care of the documentation. Natalie and her team have done an outstanding job of taking all of that content and putting it into a process where people can search for it very easily, go through the process, learn everything they need. Every single step inside the tool probably has um, a little link saying if you want to know how to use this as well. Their support team is great. They've got a private Facebook group as well, which you know I use to kind of ask quite um, questions that I can't find in the documentation. Access Ally seriously, seriously, seriously is one of the most powerful membership course and funnel plugins I've ever come across. There's a reason that I trust it for my business. Uh, for sell your service and for our marketing funnel courses. And there's a reason I use it for my coaching program as well. Very powerful bit of kit. I love the way that it integrates with my CRM. Have you ever used Access Ally or have you heard of Access Ally? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like I said, I've got an affiliate link to Access Ally down below. You don't pay any more. It just gives me a little cutback for producing videos like this as well as promoting it because I absolutely love Access Ally. Uh, and I've got a video with Natalie as well, which I'll probably link to here on how I built some courses up here. I'll put my course building playlist up here and down here I'm going to have my interview with Natalie where she talks through how to sell course funnels to your customers. Massively powerful interview from a very smart, very talented lady. Thanks very much for watching guys. I will see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels.